when you come to La Rambla, keep it chill. Still, we have quite a beautiful sights here. It's quite overpriced. I really like all these small street windows and cellars. Funny enough, we cannot see the end. Bienvenido a Barcelona. I'm Frederic Canelis and today we are going to La Rambla. Right now we are at the Plaza de Catalunya, uh, the square of Catalonia. And we're gonna go from the start of La Rambla to the end of La Rambla. We will try to keep all our pockets and everything closed because a lot of YouTubers have said there's pickpockets. I don't know if we should listen to that, but let's see. First time at La Rambla. Barcelona's most iconic street, stretching 1.2 kilometers from Plaza de Catalunya to the Christopher Columbus Monument at Port Vell. La Rambla, or Las Ramblas, as it's often is called, isn't just one street, but like a series of five sections, each with its own unique character. Let's take a stroll down this famous boulevard and explore what makes it so special. Vamos. Here we are at the start of La Rambla. Wow, it's a long street. Uh, Forti Canalates. I can see a lot of people and uh, I can also see a lot of police. So it's a good thing that we are safe here. What I really like here are these beautiful classic uh, Barcelonian Spanish paintings. Really beautiful. Six for five euros. It's a good price actually. I really like all these small street windows and cellars that are everywhere. It makes it quite uh, living and uh, alive. The architecture here is still absolutely amazing. It's uh, so beautiful here in Barcelona. Up here we have the Font de Canaletes, a ancient old fountain. The legend says that if you drink from the fountain, you're gonna go back to Barcelona. Beautiful old piece of fountain. I can see people here drawing it from art school. So it is really unique. Actually, in the 15th century, the uh, Barcelona Municipality Council, they wanted to expand Barcelona and include the El Raval district. And so they had to uh, tear down this wall that used to be here and make a stream for everything to flow out. And uh, that later became the La Rambla. So it's quite interesting that this kind of coincidence became one of the most popular streets in Europe. Wow. Of course, here on La Rambla, you have the official Barcelona store where you can buy all your Barcelona merchandise. We were just inside a little um, supermarket. There's a video out on YouTube here you can watch too. And um, it was quite crazy because everything was very affordable. You could buy Barcelona shirts in a little supermarket. They're really proud of their big team. But what about the other Barcelona club? Now we are at the Rambla del Estudis, named after the old Jesuit, Jesuit University. That's long gone, but still we have quite a beautiful sights here, like the Church of Bethlehem, which we are coming to very fast. What a beautiful church. If you also look at the tiles, so unique. We came here at around 10 and fewer people were here. Now it's uh, 11, 30 and it's absolutely crowded. I understand why people say it's um, one of the most popular places. During our walk, you will see lots of different sites, uh, like the church. Here's the Palau de Vireinha, a beautiful museum. A lot of students often go there. When you come to La Rambla, keep it chill. If you don't like crowded places and a lot of people, maybe it's not the right place for you. But um, if you want to come here and see, you should. But uh, take it slow. Funny enough, we cannot see the end. Apparently, Christopher Columbus should be down there pointing at something. But I don't know, it's far away and I cannot see it. 
Spain is a country where you can grow almost everything because of the climate. And uh, on La Rambla you can buy seeds. Wow. All kinds. A lot of people go to La Damba to go into the La Bucoria. We already made a video about that and you can find it here. Yeah, so it's a very fascinating place. Lots of food, lots of vegetables, lots of everything. And it's a really beautiful place. So check out our other video about La Bucoria. As I said in another video, Barcelona is, a, is an architect's dream. And uh, just look at this. Wow. The Grand Theatre here in uh, Barcelona. Grand Teatro de Le Cheux, Le Cheux. My Spanish isn't that good. But what an absolutely beautiful, a well-kept building. Wow. Calderon, Mozart, Rossini, Moratin. Teatro del Lico. Wow. Now we are entering the more, let's say, food-friendly quarter in the middle of La Rambla, where you have more restaurants. And I must say, we spent a few days here going in a lot of places around Barcelona. Here, it's quite overpriced. But if you, if you travel a lot and you go to a lot of touristy places, you know that these kind of places are always overpriced. But maybe it's too much. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat here for this price, but yeah. If you want to sit on La Rambla, then do it. I wouldn't, it's very overpriced. <laughs> Lots of local street artists, painters, beautiful. Hand-drawn, you might have seen these people before. <laughs> Frederik, oh, that's me, Frederik. If, if I wish I just could get this kind of beard, I cannot, sadly. Wow. What I really like here is throughout the, all of the La Rambla, you have balconies. I don't want to live at the La Rambla, but it would be funny to ha like have a little place here in Barcelona with a balcony. I, I, I reckon I would sit there every day with a little coffee in the morning, just looking out and enjoying the street. Not the La Rambla, but other places maybe. Nowadays, not so many people like the Monument de Saint Mere. It's mostly pigeons. It's a shame, but I understand them. At the most southern end of La Rambla, you have this big statue monument of uh, Columbus pointing out at the sea. Wonder where he points to. Maybe you can tell me that. I don't want to say it. Maybe you can tell where is Columbus pointing at in the comments. El Bosque de la Fuertes. Museo de Queda. Wax Museum. This is an old wax museum here in Barcelona. You might know other, like Madame Tussauds and other wax museums, but this one is uh, Barcelona's own. Let's check it out. What an entrance to the wax museum. And um, we didn't film it, but I was almost scared to death when I saw this guy. This is scary because um, I didn't think it was a Vox figure. You can go here, buy some tickets, experience the Vox Museum. We're gonna do that certainly, but not on video. Beautiful old Vox Museum. Wow, Barcelona is just wonderful. As you might hear, if the audio is not edited, a lot of noise here because most of the southern end of La Rambla is being renovated. It's not the most romantic place to be right now, but I reckon if you come back in a year, it will change a lot. La Rambla is truly a unique and a uh, magic place. I know some people says they wish it never stopped. I mean, I live in a big town like Budapest and uh, I can see a tourist trap when I see it. So there's some culture, but there's also a lot of tourist stuff. 
And uh, I reckon you should go other places in Barcelona too, not just La Rambla. After walking the, the long, long, long road of La Rambla, we get to some parts of the Barcelonian harbor. Here, there's full of palm trees, the amazing harbor. A bit more west down there, there's the Barceloneta, which we are also making a video of, which will be out very, very shortly after this video. So stay tuned for that too. This is a wonderful place to have a little coffee at some of the cafes over here, to look at boats, to have some fresh air, and to just enjoy everything. Wonderful to be here. So yeah, Barcelona is definitely worth visiting. We came here in May. Uh, we'd like to come back. It's wonderful. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please let us know in the comments if you've been to Barcelona, if you want to go here, and anything you would like to say. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and uh, become a member of our membership. Adios.